and what time we need the system cone option. There are two specific cases where system cone works like a charm. For the first one, the new target SSD drive is not big enough to save all files from source drive. System cone option can help you transfer system boot related partitions only and leave other partitions behind. For the second one, when separate system and data partition becomes necessary, System Cone can help you create two dedicated hard drives separately for Windows and data. In order to load Windows properly, boot and system partitions need to work together. And in most cases, boot and system are located on two different partitions. For PC like this, simply cloning the C drive only will not result in a bootable copy. When using system clone, it will always automatically select the two necessary partitions to ensure the bootability on the target drive. And one useful tip need to keep in mind before using this option is that only hard drive with unallocated space can be used in the target. In this situation that the source drive is a dynamic drive, or equipped a different hard drive type to the target one. System cone option cannot be used. If you are not familiar with these terms, it's okay just download our trial version to run an extra test. Now I'll show you how to find the option in real product. For Enterprise Edition, click on clone and check system clone box. The setting here allows you to clone with sector mode or ensure performance for SSD drive. And for Home Edition, click System Cone option and lower left. Select target drive you want to clone system to. We also have a seating option here. Click Press C to start the clone job. Okay, thank you very much for watching.